After you break your first TPMS sensor while mounting or dismounting a tire, you come to realization. Not all rims, tires, TPMS sensors are the same. Some rims have different drop centers, barrel designs, tires can have extremely stiff sidewalls, low profiles, and even tighter beads. On top of that, TPMS sensors can differ in size and also placement. So how do you prevent a broken sensor? The first and most important tool is experience, training, and awareness. Knowing where to position the TPMS sensor in relationship to the bead breaker, head, or lever to prevent damage is critical. The second tool is having a tire changer designed to deal with TPMS sensors and modern wheel assemblies. On some tire changers, it can be a real struggle with the top bead on some wheel and tire assemblies. Wrestling the top bead around the head and also the drop center with the tire iron can increase the potential for TPMS sensor damage. A lot of changers have sprouted arms, rollers, and other devices to hold the tire in the drop center to pull the bead around the lip. These devices are essential for dealing with modern wheel and tires, particularly if you have a really tight rim or a large diameter rim. There's no two ways about it, tire changers are evolving. The best example of this is how the bead is broken. For decades, the bead breaking has been done with a shovel on the side of a changer. This has become the accepted method. Over the past decade, they've become more articulated so the operator can better tackle larger rim and tire assemblies and avoid hitting a TPMS sensor. The next step in the evolution of bead breaking, well, it's the roller. The advantage of using a roller is the ability to precisely control it and the placement of the roller in relationship to the tire bead and also the rim. This can help avoid damaging a TPMS sensor. Some tire changers can keep track of the TPMS sensor position, reducing one more potential error point. Today, you need to assume that every single wheel and tire assembly has a TPMS sensor inside. If not that crunch you hear, it could be a sensor that you just bought. 